Uh, this uh, a question from Buster uh, about the aircraft. Well, it was mentioned at the very start mm. of the war. Is there any way Poland can get the MiG fighters to the Ukrainian Air Force? Now, we know that the Polish have tried this, but the Americans have rejected it. Yeah. I mean, what Poland did uh, this time last week is that they said, we'll send our uh, MiG-29s to Rammstein, which is the biggest American base. We'll give them to the in Americans Germany. in Germany. And then the Americans can give them to uh, the Ukrainians and then the Russians can take it up with the Americans. The Americans <laughs> didn't know about this. It's one of the few cases where NATO was not particularly united. It's the only case really so far. <clears throat> and the Americans immediately backed off. And the view is that it would, it would provoke the Russians to the point where it would pull NATO in. So if, if, if NATO aircraft, as it were, were being flown by Ukrainian pilots in, uh, air, in Ukrainian airspace, the Russians, again, might take that as an excuse to say, you know, we can take action inside Poland because you've actually supplied your aircraft to our adversaries. It's, it's, I wouldn't rule it out as this crisis goes on, but for the time being, NATO is not going to have MiG-29s uh, flying inside Ukraine. Let's examine the issue now of, um, as we hear from NATO itself, uh, rather than Putin getting less NATO, that's his ambition, he's going to get more NATO 